indications of problems associated with these components. Let's start by looking at packing and mechanical seals. On most pumps, the point where the pump shaft leaves the casing is a place where leakage can occur. To prevent process liquid from being lost or contaminated, either packing or a mechanical seal is often used to seal this area. When packing is used, operators should check to make sure that there is a small amount of leak off to lubricate and cool the packing. If there's too little leak off, the packing can dry out and burn. If the packing dries out, the pump should be shut down so that the packing can be replaced. On the other hand, if there's too much leak off, the efficiency of the pump may be affected. To control the leak off, the packing must be tightened. This should be done by tightening the nuts on the packing gland one flat at a time. Tightening the gland nuts one flat at a time ensures that the gland does not become cocked. Also, this method ensures that the packing is tightened slowly and helps to prevent over-tightening. The correct amount of leak-off may be different for each pump in a process or for each pump in a plant. You should be aware of the leak-off requirements for the pumps you're responsible for. Now, if the pump has a mechanical seal, you should check to make sure that there is no detectable leak-off. Leak-off from a mechanical seal is an indication that the seal has been damaged and should be replaced. If you find a seal that is leaking, you should report it according to your company's procedures. There are other checks that you may have to make on a pump that has a mechanical seal. For example, if the seal is supplied with an external lubricating liquid, the lubrication system should be checked for proper operation. These checks may include verifying that the lubricating liquid is being supplied to the seal at the proper flow rate and pressure. If the lubricating liquid is not supplied correctly, the seal may fail prematurely. If the lubricating system flow rate or pressure is not correct, there may be a problem. In this situation, you should check the pump that supplies the lubricating system and make sure that the valves in the system are positioned correctly. Filters and strainers can also